Hutton Vale is a really beautiful place. I feel privileged to live here. We're a farm in the Barossa, so we're not an outback farm, and we tend to have a number of different activities that happen in growing food. It's a very strong family history and they're very connected to the Barossa, indeed they're connected to the state of South Australia, but it is a nice secure feeling to know that your family have been part of setting up a state. This was planted by my father in the mid-1960s. He took cuttings from the Mount Edelston vineyard that my grandfather planted in about 1910. So we've got a few generations of, of vineyards in very close proximity. We actually like to open the doors to what we do every day. We live the paddock to plate philosophy where we grow food, we understand what food grows well, what food doesn't grow, the process of food. It's part of our everyday life, so we like to share that. Oh yeah, you can taste that. It's about having really good basic produce and not messing around with it too much so that it comes to your plate full of flavour. We're in the northeastern end of the Barossa and it's world renowned for red wines. It's a very intense wine and a very honest wine is what I would say because we're working with nature all the time and, and easing the crops in. We're not trying to push them into things they're not. The property now is 2,000 acres in the Barossa. We have a very special section which is higher ground that has got a lot of old peppermint gum trees and they attract a certain number of species of birds that are natives. And so they go up into the trees and then they go back down on the ground and they forage in all the timber parts. You start at thinking, am I going to walk the distance? And you finish thinking, oh my goodness, I wish there was another mile to go. There's certainly kangaroos. Um, we have wonderful birds. Yes, we have a lot of natural wildlife here. Barossa has probably got one of the most connected, strong cultures of any region in the world and it's still very much here today. So I'm really proud of that and really keen to share my friendships with people that are visiting with us. Collingrove was probably not the most impressive house of all the Angus homesteads but the most real, active and it was the business and people that came to that house that was really impressive in the history of the state of South Australia. I hope what they remember most is a combination of the beauty of place, the honesty and generosity of people and the friendships that we make. <laughs>